Witnesses? Neighbors heard gunshots around 1 a.m., but no one saw anything. The Holy Spirit is among us. You feel that? I do. <laughs> Well, that's a look at the new film, Feral State, the new thriller with 90210 actress Anna Lynn McCord right at the center, playing the tough-as-nails detective looking to stop a sinister gang of misfits. The film is being released today on digital platforms, including Amazon and iTunes. And here to tell us all about it, Anna Lynn McCord joins us now live. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm great, thank you so much for being here. Uh, before we get to the film, I have to say, we had your sister Rachel on not too long ago. She was helping us pick out mommy must-haves, and now you're yes. here trying to scare us with a thriller. So I don't know what's <laughs> going on with your family, but I'm getting There's a lot going vibes. on with the family. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was gonna give a little shout out to my Vegas sister, Rachel lives in Clark County, and uh, that's so cool, yeah, she's, um, Oh my gosh, she's way better at all of this than I am. But uh, but yeah, she's she's got the mommy must haves, and I'm over here, you know, kicking some butt. <laughs> yeah, I love it so much. That's what we call variety. Um, but yeah. seriously, tell us about Feral State. So the film itself, you saw a little bit, a uh, little juicy bit there. It follows Ronnie. Ronnie Jean Blevins it totally takes this whole film and steals it from everybody. He's unbelievable. He plays this kind of cult leader, father of these misfit kids on the street. And basically, it's you know, the desperation of, of poverty and and feeling displaced in the world. And he makes this, you know, this family, this kind of cult almost, if you will. But he's having these kids do these illegal things and and Detective Ellis, which is me, I, she's hot on their trail. But I, I have some little, you know, some a little twist of my own in the storyline. But I, I love the film because it, it kind of dabbles with a theme that I think is really interesting, which is the duality of human beings. Mm -hmm. We're not good, we're not bad, we're all of the above. I played a lot of villains, so I'm on the right side of the law this time. But even still, Doc, Detective Alice has her, you know, her side of things uh, that are a little less than, uh, less than in the light. So sure. I like that the film dives into that. Well, and I really love shows and movies that have a complex character like that because, like you said, everybody's got two sides to them. Would you say, growing up, were you more so on the side of maybe the bad kids or the side of your detective trying to get to the bottom of it? Well, it's interesting because I I think that I was this really like like rigid, super like straight laced. I didn't drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, do any drugs, anything. I had my first drink of wine when I turned thirty. But wow. when I left home, like it was like <laughs> the cat jumped out of the bag. But I was like you know, just I mean, I went a little wild. And and I think that the exploration of our shadow self, that darker side of our, we have to go through that period. I went through it definitely in my twenties. I hope I'm coming out of it now. Okay, okay. And so because it seems intense, is that what drew you to the role, or what exactly was it? I actually the so where this film was shot in Citrus County, Florida, is actually a, apparently an epicenter for human trafficking. And individuals like the kids in the film, misfits, foster kids, street kids, these are the children in America who are most vulnerable, mm -hmm. vulnerable to being human trafficked. And I've been working fighting human trafficking for over 13 years now. It's an issue that's very dear to my heart. So I, I love that aspect of the film. I did like the aspect of of trying on, you know, being on the right side of the law for a change on film. Um, on film, I'm on the right side of the law in real life, I promise. Um, but uh, but yeah, so there were a few elements of, uh, of why I was attracted to this particular project. You know, and I'm really glad that you mentioned that humanitarian work you do, as you know, Human trafficking is a big problem here in Vegas as well. So uh, thank you so much for doing the charity work that you do. And let's pull up some information on the screen now uh, so you can watch Feral State. I'm so excited to watch you in this. I can't wait. And congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us.
Thank you. Love to R Rachel, Rick, and Jude, my Vegas family. <laughs> oh, and one one more thing, your jacket that you're wearing, um, you're giving me Beyonce vibes. She was recently photographed in Vegas wearing a blazer like that, and I have to say it looks spectacular on you. Um, thank you, and I think we both stole it from Elvis, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Visit us again. Thanks, I will. Bye.